All right, folks, Rick Mills here. It is 6 November. I'm on my way down to New Jersey to link up with John McCall. And tomorrow we're going to head down to Maryland, Easton, Maryland. We're going to link up with Kirby. He's our whitetail outfitter down there for our annual whitetail bow hunt. Look at that. That's a nice looking buck, isn't it? Look at that, man. John and I stopped in to Tidewater Taxidermy on the eastern shore of Maryland to pick up Ivan Eady's deer. He turned out really nice. It's, it's a good deer. Absolutely. So did it's you? A beautiful deer. Did you? Doesn't have to be displayed. Headed to the tree stand tonight. Folks, this is peak COVID. John and I decided we weren't going to sit around the house and be better off in the woods. When you get down to Maryland, you're immediately in the hot seat. There's deer everywhere. Alright folks, it's day two of our Maryland whitetail hunting adventure. We went in last night and uh, the last hour was amazing. <clears throat> this morning was amazing. Deer, the rut is definitely kicking in. It's only 73. 73 degrees, folks. 73 degrees in Maryland. John can typically only hang around for one or two days. The rest of this video turns into a solo right, hunt. Rick Mills here. Day three in the back of my vehicle. I'm waiting for Kirby to pick me up. He went and dropped another guy off. It's Veterans Day. It's 11 November. It's my day. So it's supposed to rain. Whenever I'm in the woods doing a solo hunt, I always have the choice to reach for the camera or the bow. Nine times out of ten, I'll reach for that camera.
Veterans Day. I'm in the middle, it starts raining. I'm in the middle of putting my weather gear on and six bucks come in chasing a doe. I start doing circles around my tree stand. Nothing worth shooting, but that was exciting, man. All right, folks, it's 12 November. Yesterday was Veterans Day. It rained all last night. We have a break in the rain right now, about a half hour to an hour. I'm gonna use it as a chance to shoot my bow, make sure my all my kit's on, right? Confidence is key, and confidence in your gear, confidence in yourself, your shooting ability. Whenever you're on a hunt like this, it pays to shoot. Shoot when you can. Make sure that your gear is silent. Make sure everything's tight. Right? Between hunts. So when you go to the stand, you got that confidence. I'm gonna take a 40 meter shot in the parking lot. Let's go take a look. 20, this is my 30, and this is my 40. It's a three inch group out to 40, okay? Conditions have changed just a little. <laughs> it's been raining for two days straight. And Maryland is a very flat state. And when it rains like this, it turns into a swamp. The deer are used to it. The deer live in it. They got to eat. And right over here, there's a dry path for them to follow. Old set of railroad tracks. So, what we're oh, I see deer. I see deer right now. So as I was saying, another one. Folks, this is one of the last days on a paid hunt, and I made the decision if something decent walked by, I was going to take a shot at it. No excuses here, but I got the bow in one hand, the camera in the other. Well, folks, <laughs> yeah, there he goes. There's my chance. Last day. Like 8.30 this morning, I see this buck walking the ridge line. I put my release on the string, and I went to draw my bow. And it did like this one inch draw and popped off. And it <laughs> launched my arrow in front of the stand. It's on, it's on the ground <laughs> in front of the stand. Yeah, that's my arrow that hit the ground that spooked him. <laughs> day of a five day hunt.
folks, nothing harvested in this video, but it was COVID. And this hunt was more about just getting out of the house, spending some time in the woods, trying to survive, trying to make it. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.